Hello, hello again, ladies and gents. We are at the one day 17 hour mark. I am, uh, let me move down here and let the bots move while I talk. Came down to where I was doing my power originally and I've made it go dud away. So now I've got the solar panels on the bottom, got the accumulators on the top, and I left the brick path that was there before in the middle with just the spacing of, we were doing like butted up. So if you look here, the, the distance that the, the wire coverage hits was just right against even though the wire length can reach two more over so I use that that reach to get over the path and um, so the path is the two wide that way and I'll put down a, a brick a not a brick path a uh, concrete path down the middle there the reinforced concrete that way when I come down I want to up it a little bit more or I'll just leave the brick for now which gives me a nice little walkway to walk down the middle of things depending on where I end up if I take this all the way down through the museum base I've come over here and I've officially, well, unofficially, officially, pretty much everything that's on a belt somewhere in here, other than maybe these coals and things like that, are getting, uh, they were all just getting run into whatever belts I, I wanted to and then just trying to run them all down here into picking up by the stack inserter. And I bet you that all my, uh, excuse me, trash things are full over here. This is trash, right? Yeah, no, it's just they're just filling them all up. And that way they're all in they're all in chests and stuff, and robots will use whatever they want to use. There will be tons of shit in the trash network, and they can use everything they want to do. Whoops. Other than that, yeah. So other than that, power. I I messed up. I thought about it after I started like moving down here. I didn't check what my power, maybe numbers wise, but I didn't check how many uh solar panels I had out um, prior. And how many I have now. I do see that I have about 10.5 gigajoules of accumulator charge. And I think earlier I was at like 7 something maybe. So definitely have more of those. I just used whatever solar panels were sitting over in the museum base here. Where I was just making them on site. As well as the solar panels over here that I was dealing with. So other than that, that's about it. I'm going to try and get this video, uh, this clip a little quicker. Because I'm starting to ramble. I'm trying to not ramble as much now. <laughs> I know, right? A little, a little late for that. Let's not screw this up. There we go. So that's going to be the goal. I will see you guys in another hour. I haven't done a whole lot other. I guess we can do... I was, I've been forgetting lately. Let's check out where the radar has uncovered. I'm going to have to put radar back here somewhere because I'm, I'm losing a little bit of connection from things. But put radars up here in the top right of my map. Yeah, it doesn't look like much else is accumulated. Maybe a little bit of coal. Very tiny amount of uranium on this pseudo island. I think that coal was revealed earlier. I think it was. Can't remember. That's funny that that little piece doesn't get broken up. So other than that, though, yeah, that's that's it. That's all I got for this one. I will catch you guys in another hour. Stop by the Twitch and say hey if you enjoy watching. Peace. Welcome, everybody, back. We are at one hour, one day, 18 hours in. I'm setting up a outpost right now to do red circuits because I'm going to need more of them for the science space just to keep it topped off. And I need some for making making things on my own. Right now I've gone to tier 3 assemblers for the reds and they're filling up pretty well. <gasps> some speed modules in there would probably help it. But to have, have somewhere an, uh, an excess that I can use to, to make things out of pocket is going to feel really good when I want to make whatever I want to make. So the science base is still doing its thing. Um, we've upped a lot of the solar power down here, which is cool. And the museum base, where we started, that's just here for shits and gigs now. Ooh, yep, so this is all getting brought into that. So this is all still moving through. Cool. So this is all just getting loaded up into the trash, moving up, just getting dumped into storage bins, and then being used for whatever things are getting used up here. I need, I'm trying right now, I was trying to do substations, but I don't have enough substations to do substation things. But I'm close. Let me do, so I, I want to now continue to do things the way that I need things to be done, which sounds funny. How about right there? That'll be okay. Do that. 
do like that, which gives me enough room to do things. What do I have on my hands? Let's do this. I'm going to concrete up the base as much as I can. Really, I should have, now that I look back at it, kept <laughs> kept all the concrete in my hands. There, I think I did it right. There we go. Okay. So I'll concrete up as much as I can here, leaving the, the, the refined concrete right along the edge of where this goes I think that's the winner just like that for now we'll get all the rocks and things out of here Rocket in. I want it to be. I, I'm, I'm rambling on my my bit here. I want it to be just the same like this. I like to be one space between each of the turrets. Seems to be enough to keep things out at this level. Substations all around, and uh, just go from there. Maybe do a similar setup because I did get beacons researched. And once I start stealing, once I start stealing these green circuits here, I'm gonna have to probably put the beacons in to make these pump them out even faster. I'm gonna. You always need more green circuits, so. Rambled a little bit there in a minute. Sorry about that. I'm trying to keep, like I said last clip, I'm trying to keep these faster, and I'm making it slower now. So I'll see you guys in another hour, and we'll see what happens. And maybe I can get this red circuit together and start cranking again on the base. See you then. Peace. Welcome there, everybody. One day, 19 hours in. Took me way too long to set up this this setup for doing uh, red circuits, but I got it all hooked up. and letting my bots do concrete at the moment. This here, I'm not going to stand on the tracks, but this was... Too complicated for me for the moment since I'm not making plastic anywhere. And I like the symmetry. My OCD, I think, went off a little bit. I wanted it to look clean. I wanted it to look good. And uh, so I'm doing, a, I'm doing a whole weird array of splitters here to get copper fed into every machine. Because I couldn't bring the copper up top. But now that I actually had this line messed up, I had both my coppers on the top line. When now that looking here, I probably could have had more space to work with if I would have... Uh, No, hey, because I I was already had it up there earlier, so no, I'm I'm just I'm just making up shit. <laughs> so I bring in all the coal coal in underneath splitter belt belt. I try to put a pump here to pump out into this one, and apparently it w it only lets ah probably only lets one hook up. Now that I think that's what the, I've never wondered what that little box meant. That means that you can't pump another one, so I'd have to put it I'd have to put it here like that. That's probably exactly what that means. Fly flying around. I'm smacking myself in the face and you guys are wondering why I'm crazy. Let's see where that, that guy is. Let's bring him to here. Oh, we got boys in line for petroleum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go back to science petroleum. You fill up a little bit. You're good. You're good on oil. You guys are all running. I'll let this get a little bit of a bit in it, and then I'll, I'll, I'll force send it back here to see that this works the way I would imagine it would. But anyway, making the plastics, got the greens coming up, things going. I left room here because I believe beacons are the same size as assembly machines. I believe they're 3x3s. Three haven't used beacons yet, but I like to leave this in a stackable formation where I can send everything further out to the left in this scenario. I can just keep going out and out. The only thing that doesn't line up well is them placing on one belt, but... I can always bring in, do a, a, like bring in a belt this way, this way, and down and have two full belts coming down. That way I can bring them all the way over to bring into the cart and take them wherever I would like to take them. But that's where we are for now. Whoops. Yeah, so let's bring this uh, cart up. I actually have a few more now. I can make some substations. Yeah, so let's see if this does what I think it should do then. Let's let these guys do. Okay, 
if it shows up and both of these pumps run, then things are working the way that I would think that they should work. Hey, look at that. That's cool. So that's how you do that. I never actually knew how you run two pumps from the same thing, but that's how you do it. So everything here is working the way it should, and I believe not a whole lot has changed. We can do another radar look here. A little coal on that island. We already saw that before. Not a whole lot happening. I put a new radar here where I'm standing, so that might reveal something over here. Copper, copper. Yeah, I think, I think not a whole lot new. The oil down here is still just hanging strong, doing its thing. We're not oil uh, refining like crazy yet, so when we start really pumping out a bunch of those, and then we can start pumping out a bunch of uh, science going on, but power's holding up pretty well, other than they are pissed about all this pollution coming out because we are cranking out pollution. This guy is going to need a little help and help, and between the steel here and the... Um, steel and the power right there both cranking away at full speed the biters are not happy about that so they are and i got this base here that i didn't clear out i've cleared a lot of the bases out elsewhere where some attacks are coming in but they're not huge like we could probably see these guys come in real quick oh no they're not coming in yet take a look at the evolution 0 0.78 i don't know when behemoths start coming but i think it's like 0 0.8 ish but hopefully we can get some more sciences done before that happens Anywho, catch you in another hour. Thanks for hanging and thanks for chilling, and we will see where we develop here in an hour, where we divide, decide to take these red circuits and what we're going to do with them. Peace. All right, boys. Welcome back to day one, hour 20. I'm 35 minutes in. I missed it. I was actually late. I got caught up. I knew this would happen one day. Since I am currently setting up now to make myself a power armor, I picked up some low density structures and I'm making I have the assembly machines just making the speed module twos and the productivity or the uh efficiency module twos. That way I can make myself a module armor. And I've just sort of been dicking around waiting for things to happen. Uh, I'm trying to clean up some things here and there. But then I'm gonna make a exoskeleton, a energy shield, another battery, and another fusion reactor, and a few more personal laser defenses, and try and take out some more biter bases up here. probably Probably this one and this one here, because they just keep attacking on my right. And th these are just small bases that have been there since the beginning of the time, you know? So, other than those two, those things right now, I moved the yellow science train so it didn't have to go all the way over and around. I'll take the pollution off so you can see. So they didn't have to go over and all the way down and under and back up, so I just moved them to, to come out here off the side, drop off and come back up. And let's see how we're doing on the museum here. Yeah, it's almost all... A lot of coal. I guess the coal is still coming from all, from this coal. So I should probably actually stop that from running. Do that right there. Boom. Done deal. Now all that coal will get moved around, and it'll start picking up these advanced circuits and things like that. Other than that. I'm not. I'm at that lull where I'm not sure what I want to do. I got my uranium going, but I don't have anywhere where I want to do uranium yet. So I'm gonna probably do. It's breaking force train slowdown, so that doesn't gonna help me with cars or anything like that. Probably just do the silo now. Just get it ready. I'm gonna have to do it eventually. <gasps> silo science packs, and then we'll just work on things from there. Whoop. Show. Sure. Other than that, see me in a little while. Hopefully, I don't miss this one because this one will be in a half hour, which I, I I have to like get an alarm on my phone or something because I keep forgetting to do these. So maybe I can do that on my own, my phone. Whew. Let's see. I'll see if I can. Other than that, guys, see me another hour and we'll see where we ends up. Bye.